Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm just going to share a quick thought for the day to encourage you. So a lot of people are asking at the moment, as, as has been the whole time, where is God in the coronavirus? Where is God in lockdown? Where is What is God doing in all this? Christians all across the world are speculating. What is God doing? Where is God in all of this? Um, and that's a kind of big macro thing. But then there's also the question that people are asking, which is, where is God in my life right now? Can I trust that God will provide for me now? Financially, you might be looking forward the next few months and thinking, how am I going to get through this? Can God provide? Mentally, you might be thinking, I'm struggling right now and there's still seemingly a long way to go. Can I trust that God will provide for me? Or spiritually, you might be thinking, man, I am a long way from God right now. Can God keep hold of me? Can I trust him? I've been reading through Matthew's Gospel and I just want to share a really cool thing um, about Matthew's Gospel um, that we see. In the first and the last chapter of Matthew's Gospel, there is this stunning declaration that God is with us. So in chapter 1, the first chapter, um, in verses 21 to 23, it says, Mary will bear a son, she'll call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Chapter 1. Chapter 28, the last chapter, it's a very, very similar thing. In the Great Commission, Jesus says, Make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all I've commanded you, and behold... I am with you always to the end of the age. So the start of Matthew's gospel, the end of Matthew's gospel, we have this amazing promise from God. I am with you. And Jesus was born into a world where the Jews were doubting whether God really was with them. They were they hadn't heard from God for 400 years. They were under the Roman rule. They were suffering. They saw injustice everywhere. They were asking, is God What is God doing here? And God in Jesus says, I am with you. And Jesus, just before he ascends to heaven, promises he's not going to abandon us. He's not going to leave us. He's going to be closer to us than our skin and bones. He's going to be in us by his spirit. Whatever happens, wherever you are, Jesus says, I am with you always. And so what is God doing in in the coronavirus in a big scale We can speculate, we can guess. What is God doing in our lives? Can he really provide? Yes, he can. Why? Because ultimately all we need to know is that amazing promise, God is with us. So we can trust him. Have a great week, guys. Blessings.